my paperwork. And okay, I got my blood work done. I had somebody contact me about our piano, which is a friend, which I'm super glad it might be going to someone who we know just because I love musical instruments and I want it to be taken care of. I have my list of crap I have to do today. Yes, I write it on my hand so I don't forget. It says, gynecology appointment, I need to call them. Blood work, just did that. I need to get EMT supplies for tomorrow. I need to go to the eye doctor to order some glasses, the store, and, and the funniest one is the bottom one. Food, with an exclamation point. I'm trying to remind myself to eat today. That's one thing I don't remember. Weird. Um, I got my cup of ice. It's pretty much what I live on when I can't eat because chewing helps with digestion and I really need to stay hydrated because I'm not able to, to just drink water very well because it really is even upsetting my stomach today and all week. So trying to stay hydrated is complicated. I do enjoy the ice so I'm doing nugget ice today. So I'm staying alive. Now I'm getting ready to go into Walmart and get my EMT supplies and dog food. I actually had a friend that wants the piano. So I'm super excited to be able to sell my piano to a friend. Um, I gotta get home quickly because they wanna come and measure it. So I'm gonna go into Walmart. Got way more than I needed, but this is all EMT supplies. These are all for heat stroke and low blood sugars and dehydration. Under there's water. Dog food's not, but you know. So I left my very important EMT jump bag in the car because the kids and daddy went hiking. So I always send that stuff with them. Now I need to re-up my equipment because all of it's with the kids. I have that service project to volunteer for tomorrow. So that's why I'm getting more equipment. I hate no air conditioning. So I think I have all I need for tomorrow. Um, I got water, low blood sugar snacks, uh, heat stroke stuff. I have a blood pressure cuff, stethoscope, glucose meter don't have my EMT knife, which I really wish I had, but I have some wound cleaner, gloves, mask, all the stuff I need. Cost me 85 bucks, but now I have a second set of gear, which is good. Funny story. I like our UPS man. He's super sweet and funny. And uh, he gripes at me every time he has to bring me packages from Amazon. He's like, I always know when you get something, uh, something that you're some project or something you're doing because I always end up having to come to your house with packages. I was like, dude, you're Santa Claus. You bring me stuff. <laughs> you're adult Santa Claus. So now every time I see the UPS truck, my whole family yells, Santa Claus! <laughs> and the UPS trucks love it. So I'm home. I'm going to stay home the rest of the day. Hey, Bluebell. Um, I was thinking about it on the way back. Um, this service project is exactly why I went back to school. I cannot physically help rip apart walls and break down furniture and cabinets and things at someone's house who has been flooded. But what I can do is I can come volunteer medically. Now, this is why I went back to school. So that situations like this where I want to help and they need medical help, but 
I, it just, it gives me the opportunity to go and volunteer and do what I can. And if I can put band-aids on bumps and scrapes and bruises and help people recognize heat exhaustion and heat stroke or low blood sugar or dehydration, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna pack up my gear now. Oh, you wanna see what it is? Um, I did want to show you a little trick. When you buy food or anything like this, if you rip off the label that has the ingredients and your um, carb count and sugar count and stuff, and just stick them in the bag with your things, then you will know how much sugar and things you're giving to people when they have low blood sugars. And that way they know the ingredients in case they're allergic to anything that's in there. So just rip this part off and stick it in there and then you don't have to carry the giant boxes. All that crap. Okay, that's all the food situation. Got all my gear packed, it's all in here. And that goes in there on top. Got my Gentle X for blood pricker. I have an emergency inhaler, some special things for women. All good, and there's all the snacks I'm taking.